Okay, so this has all happened to us, and it's when you open your recommendations on YouTube, and you find some pretty weird videos that you're not sure how to describe, but they just really look cool. And that's what I found this today. Well, actually, it was the other day, and I told myself i got to do a video on this. But I haven't really gotten around it until now, and it's Thursday. So this is Unnerving Images with Unnerving Music, 14. I saw this video, and I was thinking to myself, this is actually a pretty good idea for a video topic. Let me just crank down my volume a bit. That should do. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool idea for a video, and I'm actually going to react to it right now. Let's just zoom in real quick. Ugh. That's already unnerving. The quality up? Yeah, okay. The quality's at 100% up. I mean, it's only 480 ping, but... Whatever. Yeesh. Ooh. Oh, that looks like it came from a video game. I swear it looks like that came from a video game. And I mean, it might have. It might have came from a video game. Oh, that is unnerving. Oh, 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 God. The fact that it's actually just one monster makes it more unsettling. It looks like it's at a cafeteria. A school cafeteria. Like, legit. Nope. That just looks like a, a horrifying tree spouted out in the middle of the road. See, look, it looks like it's got roots. Right here. See, those look like they have roots. They roots? Yeah, they roots. That's what it's called now. <sighs> Waiting for one to make my heart pound. Oh, oh, okay. That That's actually really creepy. Maybe I should crank my volume up a bit. Perfect. Yeah, that's much better. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay, I feel like I've seen that before. Like, I've been to California, and that looks like something that would appear in California. Like, you would see some an image like that. Oh, that's epic. And it's probably photoshopped. I mean, pretty much all of these are photoshopped. Or taken from a video game. Or another source. Oh, oh, oh god, that... Yeah, that's, that's creepy. Look at it, it looks like, it looks like it's got... Four... Yeah, no, five mouths. Wait, one, two, three, four... No, four mouths, four mouths. It looks like it's got four mouths, because you can see this set of teeth, this set of teeth, this set of teeth, and then these two set of teeth. This set of teeth. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that looks like a tree. And then that looks like a dinosaur skeleton decided to swoop around. Or it actually looks like a deer skeleton. Is that, is that a deer skeleton? I don't know. Oh! That music doesn't sound as creepy. Looks creepy. That image looks creepy. Okay, now it's creepy. That just that really looks like something out of a nineteen a, a twentieth century horror movie. Not the company, just like the actual twentieth century, like the nineteen hundreds to the early to the very early two thousands. I spat on my screen. How did that get there? No. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that, that face. Oh, oh, God. Music sounds...
sounds cool though. Yeah. The worst part is it looks like it's standing in front of a Oh it is. It's standing in front of a slide. It's not part of the the monster, it's actually a slide behind it. Them legs though. Ugh. That SCP? SCP, um... Which one? It was like in the 200s. Like, the late 200s. I think that's SCP I'm thinking of. I could be wrong. Because the first SCP that comes to mind is SCP-173. Ooh! That looks like- that one looks like a Cthulhu. It's got the weird mouth things. God, my eyes bugged out. <sighs> Minecraft K noise has got nothing on the. Oh! That looks like a squid in the sky. Like, that really just looks like a squid in the sky. This also looks like it was taken in the early 2000s. So that's interesting. Eugh. Looks like he was taking out one of those indie horror games that Markiplier usually plays on the channel. Like, probably in in the spot... Well, I mean, he still does random horror games, so that doesn't really help my point. But in, like, the, the period of 2016, he would do random horror games that he found on, the, on Game Jolt. Would make videos about it. Usually just be, like, one video, because most of them are, like, a quick experience that took, like, maybe ten minutes out of your day. I need to go rewatch some Markiplier videos. Ugh. Okay, that right there is way more terrifying than you actually think. Okay, so obviously it's fake. But the thing is, is that that monster is humongous. Because the moon, obviously, when you look in the sky, it's not that big. But then you actually realize that the moon is at least the size of, a st like, two or three states. It, I, don't, I don't know what states. I would think, like, maybe a couple of Alabamas. <laughs> but it is the size of a couple of states. So it's pretty big. And to think, if you can see that monster very clearly like that... That means that it is humongous. I just got a text from my mom. And it also blends in very well. That kind of looks like flakes are coming off the moon as well. Oh! Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is really sick. Looks like this was in the 60s. Okay, but that's really good effects for a 60s movie. Whoa. Ooh, that's even cooler. Oh, that is cool. It looks like it's got multiple arms. Some ancient cosmic entity coming from space. Why hasn't anybody made a movie about these kind of creatures? Ooh. Huh. Cool. Oh, it's three more minutes. Okay. So maybe I should shut up and stop talking. And, like, stop interrupting the film. Eesh. Looks like a cloud. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody get the holy hand grenade. It's like the it's like it's a spider, but the spider's butt is on the but the eyes are on the back. There's actually a ginormous huntsman spider outside my house. 
I think it's a huntsman spider. It's, I don't think it's a garden spider, but it's some kind of spider and it's horrifying. I haven't gone on my back porch since it came. Imagine you walking out in your um, farm pasture in the middle of the night and you see that thing. Yep, back to the house it is, getting the shotgun. Maria, get the shotgun. <laughs> There's a weird pink sludge thing. I want to see a horror game with that kind of character and you're just working a late shift in the supermarket. Ugh. Hi! I th that's <laughs> me saying hello to my friends be like. this music before. It was on a video talking about the scariest Mario characters by Nico BDQ. I think I'm saying that correctly. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I know I've heard that music before. Ugh. Hmm. Oh god. Oh, I didn't even realize what that was until I actually stopped. Okay, I want to know what, where that is, where that picture takes place, because it looks like there's snow. Right or that, or that's just really bad textiling, because this is like 1999. But even then, that's just that's that's got to be snow, with that weird spider-like creature. It looks like a spider. It's got teeth. See that? That's that's teeth right there. Dear God, that image is terrifying. Oh my god, it's the Suicide Mouse sound from one of the Five Nights at Treasure Island iterations. I swear. Listen. Looks like that's all the video has to offer, but that was cool. That was a cool video. I like that. It was terrifying, but it was cool. You know what? I should just make this into an internet, into like a series on my on my channel. Like weird things that YouTube recommends me. There you go. There's the there's my new video series that I'm gonna start doing. All right, that's what I'm gonna start doing. So, I'm going to start doing these more if I find any more weird videos I'm going to react to. When I don't have gaming videos. There's been a long gap between my last reaction video. Bye.